Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Who is that, people? That's my little rescue dog. She was given up because of her cherry eyes and we're taking care of her. More to come about Daisy and my haul. Stay tuned. What is it? Is there something in there for you, little girl? Everything unpacked and there's Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy. I have everything unpacked. Let's go ahead and go over to Day's Hall. Now, some of this is very redundant, guys. I'm just kind of in a rut right now, guys, trying to pull it together. I am keto, but I am trying to pull it together. And some of this is for my dogs. So let's go ahead and go through our haul. All right, so I got this. I got these cheese. In fact, I got the uh, Pepper Jack, the Colby Jack, I also got the Monterey Jack, and a horseradish cheddar. Now this one is like almost four dollars. I why I spent four dollars? I don't know, but I do love horseradish cheese. Anyway, these here guys are a dollar seventy nine. Dollar seventy nine for this cheese blocks, which are eight ounces. And these little guys are $1.99. So 20 cents more to get it already cut. I know, lazy. I know, a little more processing on it. I know, but sometimes convenience is uh, very critical. I also have the prosciutto. These were really affordable this week, under $3, which is highly unusual. Even at Aldi's, I believe this is a special price. So it was under $3. Yum. I got some mozzarella. I got some blue cheese. I have three packages of cream cheese. I have six. Hold on. Seven. Eight. Eight packages of hot dog weenies. No, guys. These aren't for me. Although I will admit that I take a bite every once in a while. But these are for the dogs. <laughs> these are great for bribing Barkley to go upstairs when he's not in the mood. If you don't have experience with a bulldog, such as this little girl, then you have no idea how stubborn they are. They're going to do what they want. And so sometimes having some bribery food is good. Also works good for like coring out a little bit of it, sticking their medicine in it, and feeding them that. All right. So again eight packages of hot dog weenie, 78 cents each guys uh, for the dogs and this probably will last me a good two weeks all right then i from randall's i purchased this i stuck it in my freezer i'll be cooking it today as part of meal prep yep this is corned beef it was on sale uh ten dollars i don't know how big this is i can't read it uh but anyway big old package of corned beef and they're saying what am i going to do with all my leftover corned beef and cabbage I'll show you. I also got this yesterday. I was in the mood for a ribeye. Got me a ribeye yesterday and this I'll be cooking probably today. This is some Angus beef hatch chili. Yum. And then I got bacon. Three pounds of bacon. This is on sale at Randall's for $10.01 here in Cedar Park, Texas. All right. So let's keep on going. The rest of this should all be from Aldi's. All right. So I got some romaine lettuce love these got some celery i am going to be making some yummy chicken salad maybe even some egg salad we'll see i've got my three packages of pork rinds which is pretty consistent every week i got some cilantro i love cooking my chicken that i'm going to eat if i'm boiling it i love cooking it with some cilantro and some celery it just adds so much flavor to the chicken all right guys i also have three packages of heavy whipping cream. I have three packages of half and half. I have a cabbage, three heads of cauliflower. My dogs love it as well as we do. In fact, I'm making a dish with that hopefully today or tomorrow. I have some uh, spinach. I have some mushrooms for um, a lovely pizza. And in here I have my 10 pounds of chicken. All right, let's move back over here. So for Matthew, I have some of these, just like the um, like the goldfish, but it's penguins. I have some organic cucumbers. Dip that in some homemade ranch. Yummy. Oh, no, this I got also at Randall's. I'm going to be doing something tomorrow for my meal prep on this. I have some avocados. These were 59 cents. Some yummy old red onions purple onions, whatever you want to call them. Also the cube cheese I was telling you, three packages of those. I have eight packages of eggs. These are 78 cents each, guys. 
and again this is part of my meal prep for the dogs and of course some eggs for us if you can afford to get the cage free the range free the organic go for it guys limited budget right now uh, medical bills for the dogs etc all right and then i have this jalapeno david loves this this loves 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 really decent macros on this too guys then as i showed you in a previous haul i got myself my coffee four dollars and 19 cents each these are over five dollars like right at five dollars over at um randall's sometimes 5.99 and they've been teetering on the um starbucks unsweetened coffee between $5.99 and $4.79. So this is a nice savings. And then these drinks for David, which he loves. These are the Mango Tropical. It does have sorbitol in there, but David loves them. And that wraps up my haul. So, all right, guys, so stay tuned for some meal prepping. And Daisy, 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 come here. I'm gonna say goodbye, Daisy. Say goodbye. Oh, what is all this food, Mama? All right, so Daisy is our little rescue, guys. And don't lick the food. And uh, her owner surrendered her. And a friend of mine knew about Barkley being sick and uh, thought we might enjoy adopting this little girl. And so we have, she's on eye medicine for her cherry eye. But uh, <laughs> she's just a sweetheart. She's on medicine. We're not sure how we're going to proceed with this. She may require surgery. It all depends. Uh, they can live with this quite easily. Uh, and the surgery, if we decide to do the surgery, it actually could cause her to have a lifetime of eye allergies and dry eye. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with her. As far as that is concerned, there is another um, ophthalmologist here in town for dogs that does a specialty surgery, but my vet's not sure that there's been any successful cases. After April 4th, which is her next vet appointment, um, we will know more as to how we're going to proceed. And uh, we still have our lovely Boo Dog, our Labrador, and um, our Barkley. He is almost entering month number seven since we've gotten his uh, cancer diagnosis. And the masses are growing, but God bless him, he is a trooper. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, you'll get some more footage of Miss Daisy. She is a, a very sweet girl, and she loves to stand on her feet. Um, and clearly, she wants some corned beef. Anyway. Welcome to Mrs. Daisy. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's so neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.